What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at another SQL interview question, this time asked by Lyft. Let's get into it. This one's called churn rate of Lyft drivers. And churn rate is a very central thing that a lot of companies want to calculate, a very central metric for services, any service pretty much. Retention, churn, very central. So this task is to find the global churn rate of Lyft drivers across all years. It could be time-based for this one, it's across all years. And we should output the rate as a ratio. So the ratio of drivers on Lyft that have turned, basically the amount of active people against the one that have abandoned the platform. Let's get into it. So let's take a look at the data. We have one table called Lyft drivers, which has just four columns, index, start date, end date, and yearly salary. I don't think we're gonna use salary here, but let's just preview that data. By the way, this platform is hosted on stratus.com. We're going to be able to view the input data, code of our solution, and see whether it would be accepted during an interview by checking the solution against test cases. So as I said, we have salary in there, start date, end date, index, which is just a row number, it seems like, so we might not have to use index either. We have a start date and end date. I think that's what we're probably going to use. I said that... Let's just make a comment here. I said that the ratio should be the amount of active drivers divided by the number of, not really inactive drivers, but I kind of said that wrong by the amount of all drivers, right? So the ones that are still active shouldn't have an end date. They should have a missing value or a null value in there. And the ones that have an end date are the ones who are no longer active. So this one, well, let's not get confused. Find the global churn rate of Lyft drivers. So it's actually the number of inactive drivers against all drivers. Make, make sure to double check the problem description. So we actually want to turn for, we actually want to check for this value in end date. And if it is there, it means they have churned. And then we're going to divide that by all drivers. We should get the number of all drivers by just counting star because one row should be one driver. We could count, hmm, there's no driver ID in there or anything, so we should be just be able to count star. And then we want to count the amount of non empty values in end date. So let's just do that. So, thing we can do is just to just select the count of end date since count should ignore null values and only give us the amount of values or amount of rows that are non empty in this column. So in this case, um, I forgot to select from lift drivers, but that should work. I'm also gonna select another count index just to be sure because index should always be there. Maybe it's actually useful, that column. So we have 2,274 non-empty values in end date and 5,000 non-empty values in index. And since we know that in end date, we have the end date of driver's lifetime. And that means if we have an, a value in there, that means they are inactive now. This count basically tells us the amount of inactive drivers. And count of index give us, gives us the amount of all drivers. We could use count star in here as well. I think it doesn't really make a difference. But I think we're pretty much already there. It's just about understanding the problem, reading it correctly, and then making the calculation. So if we divide that one column by the other, we should divide inactive drivers by all drivers. And that should give us that ratio. Now what we need to be aware of is that we're dividing one integer value by another and that should just give us another integer value and not the ratio we want. So we need to convert this one to a float maybe to be able to calculate the ratio properly. And that's it. Let's just call it um, ratio. <laughs> or churn rate actually, I think that's better. And 
always good to be specific. Driver churn rate, very expressive. Let's check the solution. It's accepted. That's pretty much it for the problem. It's that easy. Um, always, pretty much always when you have a ratio or a rate, you would have to divide one column by another. And then it's just about finding out how to get that numerator and denominator by looking at the data you have and understanding that correctly. So that's it for the problem. If you want to try this one in other Lyft or Uber tech company questions, head on over to stratastretch.com. Every question is company tagged and you have submissions and solutions from other people which you can check and discuss as well as non-technical questions that you can also use to prepare for interviews. You're going to be able to try many problems for free and if you decide to go for membership and use my sponsor link down below, you're also able to support the channel. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all next time.